occurs in that region, specifically agricultural damage, and then invasive species are, are a big one in that area. Now, during that three years, I took uh, four months out of my time, and I joined up with a sharpshooting company and traveled across the Midwest and, and the Mid-Atlantic. So uh, I was in a lot of these communities doing these callings uh, as, as one of their contractors. So I do have some uh, experience based on that. Uh, I do have some education, which is not on here, but it wasn't from a Michigan university, so I that off. It wasn't worth mentioning. Yeah, right. Um, you know, the first thing, uh, you know, uh, urban deer issues are, are not specific to Michigan, and they're not specific even to this country. They are all over the place with, as you can see, many different species of deer. And in my opinion, this is one of the uh, upcoming or emerging issues that deer managers are going to have to deal with because we're making a lot more people, those people have a lot more places to live, and a lot of these deer are very adaptable, so they're going to be residing in these communities. So this is going to be one of these issues that we're really just starting to deal with, and I think it's in the next 20 to 30 years is going to be even more pronounced moving forward. Um, so again, my perspective on calls is, to me, it's really the, the end point of what should be a very long and deliberate and informed process. And uh, communities engage in this process for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, it could be social implications such as uh, deer habituation. Uh, it could be uh, landscape level type things. It could be landscape damage. You can see some houses that were uh, damaged. It could be a community garden that's being raided by deer and the fencing uh, tends to sometimes work and sometimes not work in this case. Uh, road kills are obviously number one as far as uh, safety concerns uh, for, for humans. And then the concern with the natural areas as well. You know, you see that deer up there that has one leaf in its mouth and that's about the only green thing growing around it. So there's a lot of social implications and there's a lot of biological implications for undertaking a call. And you know, from a community perspective and standpoint, the reason that they, they start that needs to be identified early on and, and what they choose to go through, whether or not it's uh, calling or one of these additional options, uh, which uh, that one's never going to happen in Michigan. But we're never going to reintroduce predators, uh, such as mountain lions and wolves, uh, for obvious reasons. But it is brought up a lot. But then uh, there are a lot of other options that are considered. Uh, managed archery hunts are often considered, uh, trap and euthanasia or trap and transfer, which uh, trap and transfer hasn't been on the table for quite a while from an agency perspective and certainly is off the table now because of uh, the occurrence of CWD in the lower peninsula and the occurrence of TB in the northern lower. But fencing, uh, and then we have some non-lethal options that are suggested as well, such as immunocontraception or sterilization. And then the one that's not uh, often considered is just letting it go. Uh, what, what, what's, what's the point? Why do we need to interfere? And, and, uh, that picture in the top right is, is what we call a browse line. And that picture was taken in the late 80s in Brown County Park in, in Indiana. Uh, so that generally, uh, basically if you don't know what that is, that, that line where the vegetation grows just happens to coincide with the furthermost point that a deer can reach. Um, and if you go in this forest, there will be nothing in there. So uh, really, ultimately it comes down to um, what the community decides and where they want to go with it. And, and ultimately, uh, it's, it, the, the decision is based at the community level. So as a, from an agency perspective, we're here to provide technical assistance. We're here to try to provide unbiased science uh, as far as what could go. In some cases, lethal management is recommended. In other cases, simple exclusion is, is also uh, recommended. Uh, but ultimately, this relies, and the final decision relies on the elected officials. And, uh, of the community because they know what's best for the community. They ultimately decide uh, whether or not they want to spend money on a, a deer management program, avoid it. They need to decide who's impacted. They need to decide uh, in, in what regard or what magnitude the residents are impacted. And, and once they make that decision, regardless of what it is, it's going to have a lot of opposition. And, and, and that resolve that the community leaders have is ultimately going to determine the su success of this program because Regardless of what, I, I, what they choose, if, once you get into deer management, you're in it for a while. So that's a very quick, dirty uh, synopsis of mine. Thank you.